The ornate ghost pipefish, also known as the harlequin ghost pipefish, is a master of disguise and mimicry. It has evolved to hide unseen against the backdrop of a multitude of different environments, such as feather stars, gorgonian fans, whips, sponges, and even organic litter on the seafloor. Once settled in their chosen environment, they have the ability to change their body colour to match the surroundings. This can take a couple of hours to complete. Ornates can be a real challenge to find, but once you have the eye and know where to look, they are actually more common than you would think. Most of the time, you will find pairs living together, with the larger of the two being the female. There is evidence to suggest that ornates have sexual plasticity, meaning they have the ability to change their sex from male to female. Specimens in aquaria have been observed to change their sex from male to female when there has been a dominance of males in the aquarium. Although it has not been confirmed, there is a chance that this could be how they increase their chances in the wild of creating a mating pair. Although related to seahorses and pipefish, they differ in the way they reproduce. With seahorses and pipefish, it is the male that broods the eggs, but with the ghost pipefish, it is the female that keeps the eggs in a pouch, which is formed by fusing her pelvic fins together. During the gestation period, she will waft her pelvic fins to circulate oxygenated water over the eggs. As time goes by, it becomes easier to see the developing larvae in the pouch. Towards the end of the gestation period, you can easily see the eggs of the larvae. Once the larvae hatch, they are released into the open water and will float around the pelagic, being distributed over wide areas as ocean currents take them. Whilst fully formed, the juvenile ornates are transparent and will only assume colour once they have matured sufficiently and found suitable reef to live on and find a mate to reproduce. The life cycle of the ornate is quite short and will only reproduce once before dying. Blending into their environment not only provides them with a disguise from predators, but it also allows them to sneak up on their prey unnoticed. Their diet consists of tiny crustaceans which they suck up through their tube-like snout. For photographers and videographers, ornate ghost pipe fish are normally quite obliging subjects, providing you don't hassle them. If they continue to glide away from you, leave them for a while and come back when they have settled. The chances are you will get a cracking shot of one of the most remarkable creatures on the reef. To see more videos like these, go to www.philippinediveholidays.com.